Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how a rock like this can be turned into a metal like this so that we can use it in everyday items like this. We've first got to remember where we get metals from and metals come from rocks in the ground. Now a rock that contains enough of the metal to make it worth extracting is called an ore. So we can see here we get gold from this rock which is gold ore and we get copper from this rock which is copper ore. The way we extract these two metals from their ores is very different though. Gold is down near the bottom of the reactivity series so it's found in the rock as the pure metal itself. We sometimes call it the native metal, it's not joined to any other elements. Copper on the other hand is higher up the reactivity series so when it's in the rock it's going to start joining with other elements. So this ore which contains copper is actually copper carbonate. Copper joined to carbon and oxygen atoms. So we need some way of chemically extracting the copper from the ore. So the first stage in getting the copper out of this green rock which is called malachite is to crush up the rock and you get a green powder. And that green powder is copper carbonate. So at this stage, the copper is joined to carbon and oxygen atoms. And we're going to start that chemical extraction by heating the copper carbonate very strongly with a Bunsen burner. So we'll come back to this in a few minutes and see what's happened to it. So if we think about the reaction that's just happened, we've been using heat on the green copper carbonate and it's changed into the black copper oxide. Now this is called a thermal decomposition reaction. Thermal meaning using heat and decomposition means to break something down. And that's because the copper carbonate has broken down into copper oxide and carbon dioxide. So we're getting closer to getting the copper that we want because it was joined to a carbon and three oxygens, it's now only joined to one oxygen. So the next stage will be to find a way of chemically removing the oxygen from that copper. So I'm now adding some carbon powder to the black copper oxide. This in itself is a dark grey powder as well. So I'm adding some carbon powder to the black copper oxide and I'm going to give it a good shake up to mix the carbon with the copper oxide. And then once again, I'm going to heat it strongly with a Bunsen burner, this time for much longer. This is going to take a good 20 minutes, half an hour, and then we'll come back and have a look at what's happened. Already I'm liking what I'm seeing here in the test tube. We've definitely got some copper that's formed, but let's take a closer look at it. Now that I've tipped it out of the test tube, we can see some glimmers of copper here, and we've also got copper on the test tube. Now on a large scale, this would be done in a big furnace with much higher temperatures than we're able to reach with the Bunsen burner. But you can see how we can get some by heating the copper oxide with the carbon. So we've seen how we're able to extract copper from its ore in the lab. All of the equipment I've been using today is available from Philip Harris and there's a link to the Philip Harris website in the description below my video. The reason this reaction worked is that carbon is more reactive than copper. It's higher up in the reactivity series. And if you need a reminder of how to remember the reactivity series, I'll put a link up to a video of mine now. So because carbon is higher in the reactivity series, it was able to take the oxygen from copper to form carbon dioxide. And that meant copper was left on its own and we were able to extract the copper. Now this type of reaction where something is losing oxygen is called a reduction reaction. That's something you need to remember for your exam. So what about aluminium? Aluminium is a useful metal. We use it in drinks cans and we also use it in kitchen foil. And just like copper, it comes from a rock. And this rock is called bauxite. Or we could call it aluminium ore because it contains enough of the metal to make it worth extracting. And in the aluminium ore, the aluminium's in the form of aluminium oxide. So could we do like we've just done with copper and heat it up with carbon to take away the oxygen? The answer is no, there'd be no reaction. And that's because carbon is lower down the reactivity series than aluminium. That means it's less reactive than aluminium, so it can't take away the oxygen. 
So to summarize what we know about extracting metals, metals down at the bottom of the reactivity series just sit in the rock as the pure elements, so we don't need to take anything away from those. Higher up the reactivity series, the ones below carbon are found as a compound. For example, iron is found as iron oxide, and that can be extracted by heating it with carbon. When the carbon takes away the oxygen, we call that a reduction reaction. More in my next video about reduction. And the ones at the top of the reactivity series above carbon, heating with carbon isn't going to work for those. So we need to use another method, which would be electrolysis. And there's a whole other topic about electrolysis where we'll talk about it there. Thank you for watching.